right, we're going to do a quick one today and look at the accelerometer that we got mounted to our ransom rest. Uh, here you can see our ransom rest. We got this 3D printed uh, fixture that we made up to fit the whip motion WT9011DCL. That's a uh, magnetometer, gyroscope, accelerometer, um, get your time and date and everything all in one, little Bluetooth device. Uh, we picked that up, I think, on Amazon or whatever. Real cheap, small, lightweight. Uh, we went through like five different iterations of the mount to try to find one that worked the best. This is, like I said, our fifth one. Uh, we're still kind of tweaking it a little bit. We've got the back open. It's a little USB-C to charge it so we can keep it in there. We don't really need to take it out anymore. We can plug it in. I got a external battery um, to help power it or charge it if we need to. Uh, with that said, I can show you real quick the other versions we went through but plus let's take a look at the uh, program itself this is the unit you can see this is the unit here the whip motion 911 DCL BT50 uh, this is the software that it comes with and you can see we can reset the angles extremely sensitive you get vibration and everything on it but it, it works pretty damn good so as this ransom rest fires and the angle increases there you can see we can measure that as well as our data list um, it gives you graphs and then here's your data breakdown so you can get angular velocity acceleration and all that all in one unit so can't wait to try that out and let's take a look at the several iterations that we've had. Sorry for the camera angle here. You've got the first one, second one, we extended it, added some extra bracing. Uh, there's the end port for charging, a little slide window that, you know, where it bolts on. But anyway, there you go. Let's, uh, we'll try it out and see another video. Thank you.